Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here. Now there is one new feature in iOS 13 that allows you to control your iPhone with just your voice and it's called voice control. And to turn it on, you just need to go into settings and then down to accessibility and then you scroll down to voice control and then hit that toggle for it. And so this is originally for people who don't have the ability to be able to hold their phone in their hands and use their fingers to interact with it, whether they were born that way or they had an unfortunate accident. Um, but I think this is just amazing because now they have access to use this phone. And also for people, maybe you have your hands full, maybe you're holding the baby and your phone is sitting on the desk. Um, you can now just talk to it and be able to do certain interactions. So um, let me go ahead and show you just how this works with some of the basic commands as far as navigation. And so you can just talk to it. You don't have to say anything like hey Siri anything like that but it's listening for specific commands for you to give it so I can do something like swipe right swipe left swipe left swipe right open notification center go home open settings go back go back Scroll down, scroll up, go home. Okay, so you can see that the basic navigation is not that hard to pick up on. It really just took me a couple of minutes to get the hang of it, but let me show you something more complicated like inside of the Instagram app where you have a lot of different things that you can normally interact with with your finger, but let me go ahead and show you how you can do this with your voice. Show numbers. Twenty one. Show numbers. One. Soldier knows best. Show numbers. Six. Tap top. Tap tags. Tap accounts. Go back, show numbers, 12. Scroll down. Okay, so that's some of the basic ways that you can navigate. So when you have something really complicated like that, uh, you can tell it to show numbers and that will give you a lot more options because it doesn't always, uh, it's not always able to kind of recognize uh, what you wanna do inside of the app, especially if it's just like an icon or something like that. So uh, that's a quick way to try to get around it. And it's not perfect, but I think it does work pretty well. Okay, so now I'm just going to go through some random things and just see how it works. Open Control Center. Tap flashlight. Tap flashlight. Go home. Long press YouTube. Tap subscriptions. Go home. Okay, now to see how you can interact with text on this. So I'm gonna go into the notes application and I need to do like a single tap, just like you normally would. Like right now, I'm just gonna tap with my finger and now it's ready to go ahead and start capturing my notes. Uh, but let me go ahead and see if I can just do everything with my voice. Single tap. Okay, so now it knows that I'm in the notes app and it's going to go ahead and start capturing my voice. And so I'm going to stop talking just to see how well it does. Okay, so you don't see me on camera, but I messed this part up, but I wanted to make sure I got it right. So anyway, this is what it captured from me talking, but I can see that I got some words wrong. Like instead of uh, it, it says he. So I'm gonna see if I can fix some of these words just using my voice. Single tap. Change he to it. One. Change is to it is. Change catching to capturing. Change he to it. Boom, did a pretty good job at that. So you can do other things like this, select all. Cut that. Paste that. Select all. Delete that. There you go. And so these are just some of the basic commands. And if I was to go to the 
um, settings app and go back to voice control, you can see that uh, you have a lot more different um, commands that you can do. So they have a section for basic navigation. Um, these are all the things you can do as far as uh, um, activating some of those things. And also too, you have, uh, let's go down to text navigation. So you can do a lot of stuff like move to the beginning of a word, uh, move to the end of a paragraph. And it's a lot of good stuff in here. And then you can also um, add your own uh, custom vocabulary to this as well. Um, so there's a lot of stuff going on here and I'm not gonna be able to cover everything because it's just a quick hands-on. Uh, but I think this feature is something that's gonna be incredibly be useful for people who, again, who can't actually use a phone um, with their hands, but also too for people who, I, I think this is on the iPad, I'm not totally sure, but I just think that it'd be cool just to have this sitting on your desk and be able to tell it to open up something and maybe open up a TV app and start watching a movie and stuff like that. And anything that you can do with your voice, I think just makes your life a little bit easier. So yeah, I'm interested to start using this a lot more. So I'm interested also to see what you think about this. So leave your comment down below and also make sure you do subscribe to me here on YouTube and I have more videos over I iOS 13 coming out soon. But like always, I do want to thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.